Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel, She Beats Beauty, and guess what today is? It's Tuesday, and that means it is a Blind Buy Tuesday. That is where I bring you a Blind Buy fragrance, and I review it. So, let's get started. I'm not going to do too much rambling today, because I thought about whenever I watch videos, I don't like it when they talk, so I just want them to get right to the point. Okay. Before we get to the um, the star of this show, I'm going to let you guys see two fragrances that I have. <laughs> Excuse me. This one is from Sephora, and it's the Versace uh, Bright Crystal. It's a roller ball. I didn't know that, but I got it with my points. And then this is called the Simply Bell, and it's something I got from Fragrance Net whenever I purchased the um, the um, the girl of now um, and it is um, something I've never heard of um, it says fresh first opening of orange every fragrance to me I feel like has some type of orange blossom orange this orange that I think it just it's a universal smell that everybody likes oh and I get 20 20 dollars off your next purchase so I might end up trying some of this for real huh I have to read into this because I have a coupon code so you never know, I might keep it for me or give it to someone else, um, the actual code. Okay, so it says a fresh first opening of an orange and peach oils wrapped with violet with violet accents. Pretty and gentle white floral notes. Okay, uh, every fragrance that I have bought has white floral and I don't like white floral because it makes me feel matriarch, matronly. Um, white floral notes a follow, watery and clean, laid over a sensual bed of musk and vanilla. Maybe, um, I like white florals more than I was thinking because everything I get seems to have white florals. Okay, so, we're just going to try it out. Um, I'm going to get some strips, whether I have to hoard them from Sephora or not, I don't know sneak into Sephora whenever they open or whatever. Um, so I'm going to just dab a little bit of this. Actually, I'm going to dab it on, instead of on the paper, I'm going to dab it on my um, inner part of my arm. Inner part of my elbow. Let's see what it smells like. And if it smells good, I might just get some for myself. Yep, it smells like Smells like how I want my grandmother to smell. Or how I remember her smelling. It's got this, the white full makes it smell like a grandmother. But I like it. Or somebody that is just, somebody that you like. I mean, not like, but some older lady that is a grandmother figure. And it's because of the white floral. It's really, really pretty, but not for me I say like someone in there six fifty late 50 60 should be wearing this and this smells um you can smell the white floral and you can smell I can't smell the peach I can smell the white floral I can smell the um uh, the musk can't smell the orange <coughs> excuse me but I can smell the that clean clean smell like uh, the clean sharp smell I can smell that it's a good fragrance, but it's just not for me. Okay, so next we're going to go to the roller ball. Look how little this is. They gave me a... What is this? 0.1 fluid ounce, which equals 3 milliliters. So these are the ones that you get like um, um, at Sephora whenever you get like points. But I usually stack my points. Let me see if I can smell some, um, I'm putting this on the other, um, the inner elbow. Let's see what I smell with this. I'm going to go ahead and get on for Fragrantica, pull up the notes that are in this one, and then we'll get right to the blind buy. Sorry, guys, but I just had to, you know, any fragrance that I have, I want to review it. Um, this is a Fragrantica Versace Bright Crystal. This I like. It's it's definitely bright. Okay. Shh. 
Um, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to get to it. Um, trying to hurry up and get to this. Okay, sorry. Looks like it is a fragrance that came out in 2006. It's got florals, it's fresh, it's citrus, it's aquatic and woody. Everything I like. I really, really like this. This would be like a great uh, spring, summer, um, a spring and summer. Um, definitely summer because it's, it's really very aquatic. And so I smell the aquatic, I smell the citrus, and it's very fresh. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Top notes of pomegranate, um, yuzu, and frosted accord. I don't know what a yuzu is. I will find out. Peony and magnolia are in the center of the composition. And um, while waterly, waterly, fresh lotus. Um, and fresh lotus note, I can't read, while waterly fresh lotus note moderates the intensity and sweetness of the floral accents. Okay, this opulent, opulent base introduces amber notes. I don't smell the amber. Look, I'm trying to push my elbow to my face. I don't smell the amber. Um... It's got, I can smell the musky, I can smell a woody fragrance. And this would be a fragrance that I probably wouldn't buy for myself because I, like I said, I'll say it every video, I think I want something that's very unique, that's something that's different, something that I just can't just buy anywhere. And that's not gonna be this, but it's very good. So I'm gonna see if I can get like a family member to buy it for me. I don't know, but I like it. Okay. Next, we're gonna go right on to um, Blind by Tuesday, okay? We're gonna go right on to that one and guess what I have here? Bam! You can't even see it. I'm definitely gonna get a new camera. <laughs> okay, so what I have, excuse me for my coughs, is these allergies. Okay, so I've got, um, it's a Gorilla Perfume, and it's by Lush, and I kept hearing about a fragrance called Lust, and I'm, I'm always looking for a fragrance that's going to, like, knock some man's shorts off so I can get me a, um, a hot date or something that's going to captivate, um, a man, and I have some things that are coming up, so, um, stay tuned for that. Okay, but this one's Lust, and I was just like, okay, Lust, I've got to get it. it it's going to have everything that um, Lust will have, you know? So let me read off the notes. I'm on Fragranica, and here we go again. The thing about this is, guess what it has in it? Comment below. Guess what it has in it? White floral. Everything I'm picking up has white floral in it, so, like, I think I'm going to go from the total opposite. I think what I'm gonna buy is um, the Bobby Brown Beach, cause I'm just gonna do the total opposite. And hopefully that, if I look that up, it doesn't have any uh, white floral in it. But this one has white floral in it. One of the main accords, and that thing is bumping like all the way up. This is like the meters, like white floral. It's got um, yellow floral in it. I'm gonna have to do my research cause I don't know what yellow floral really is. It's woody and it's sweet. Okay, it's, there's not very much in the description about this, but it says, Lust is an appealing scent of dirty jasmine. That's why I got it. So I was just like, let, let me use it. Um, with an additional notes of rose, ylang ylang, sandalwood, and vanilla. So I know I like vanilla. Everybody likes vanilla. Who doesn't? Sandalwood, and I heard jasmine is pretty good. So, but this is a dirty jasmine. So we'll, we'll see. Um... I got the one ounce because it's blind by Tuesday, baby, and I'm just not sure how much I'm going to like it, so I get one ounce. Um, Lust was launched in 2010, about 10 years ago. The nose behind the fragrance is Mark Constantine. Okay, I'm going to read like two reviews, and then I'm going to give you my own review. This is, I've never smelled this before. I literally had this in my drawer for like since March. That's two months, and I didn't even touch it. I touched it, but I didn't smell it. Okay. 
It says, yesterday a good friend, co-worker, and a co-worker took a joint, and I took a joint shopping uh, trip to a Target for essentials, COVID-19 style. You know, makeshift homemade mask on. Uh, we grabbed our sanitized cart and made a beeline to the greeting, greeting cards. It's as good an adult um, children, as good adult children, Mother's Day, soon approaching was on our minds. But browsing for the perfect and rather sufficient cart proved difficult I couldn't concentrate. You see, my nose and my mind were fixated on a fragrance radiating from my shopping buddy. Okay? Her signature scent, lust. Her scent aura, that bewitching carnal jasmine. And amid my lust trance, I must have given her a dozen compliments before finally setting on a card. Going about the rest of, the shop, of our shopping, my double-layered fabric mask capture those beautiful jasmine tendrils lingering olfactory pleasure that this stuff must be good this morning i woke the first thing on my mind that less perking needless to say i now have a bottle on its way to me and this so this is a guy and my mom has a card with a really cute cat along with the bottle of her signature nr for her e, um, ebt on its way nr comment if you know what nr is that i don't know what fragrance that is um, I'm going to read one more. I'm going to read a short one. Okay, so um, someone says, the most realistic jasmine in my collection is also the lustiest. Its intimate affair with Ylang is joy smell, is joy to smell. Pure, heady, intoxicating, and lush it is. Um, the one jasmine lust a man needs okay so this fragrance is unisex all right let's go let's see about hot sprays okay Whoa. that's strong i'm gonna go on to the lush um the actual lush um, website and see what they say about it because I want to get some real details to um, what it is that's in here. This is not something that you wear in the office. And it's strong. To me, it's very incense-y. No, this would be something that I would just wear um, it would have to be a weekend thing because it is cloying and it's very heavy. And maybe to bed. To bed. To, you know what I'm saying? To bed. Um, it's almost like kind of taking my breath away. Um, it smells really good, but it's very strong. And um, I like it. Like I said, I like things that are unique. And um, I like it. I would probably, it's very strong. I can't even describe what it smells like. If there, if they say that Jasmine is like the main, um, uh, the main event to this fragrance, then what is overpowering, the smell is overpowering, that must be what it is, the Jasmine. Because I keep hearing in it, it does have like this dirty, gritty, you know, come get me, come hither kind of smell. Oof. Okay. On the site, it says sexy and, and intoxicating. This is for someone who don't, doesn't give a shit. And that's me. Like I would wear that on a... Not on a first date. This You can't do this to somebody on a first date. You can't have them obsessed. Okay. Okay. It says, cast aside your inhibitions with the striking floral perfume, delicate rose, um, evocative jasmine, and intoxicating ylang, ylang You will be sure to tempt and tantalize all day and night. Okay. I'm not getting, it says primal yearnings. That's what I'm, you know, I'm trying to get a husband. Um, okay. 
Okay, so here are the ingredients. It says floral and seductive, jasmine, absolute, sweet, and heady. The sweet and heady comes from the ylang ylang. Floral and seductive part. So maybe like that seductive part is the jasmine and the sweetness in that the stuff is kind of overpowering is the ylang ylang oil. It also has a soothing and toning, soothing and toning, which is the rose absolute. Okay, so I do smell the soothing because for me, like the incensey smell is calming and soothing for me. So that's where I can I can smell all of that. Um, let me read one more thing and then I'll be done. And I'll let you guys go. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything that I um that's in this fragrance that I haven't read. And I don't think there is. <sighs> Excuse me, it's late. Okay, I'm gonna do one more um, review that's on this line. That's on actually two, because one has only one star and the other one has four. Someone says, love it. The jasmine perfume that I was looking for um, the whole time. This is the jasmine perfume that I've been looking for the whole time. It has a pure jasmine smell and lasts all day long. I guarantee this will last all day long. This reminds me I don't know. It reminds me of the 90s. I mean, things, and I'm sure Norelli's not in here, but anything that has that um, incense -y smell reminds me of the 90s, and I just wish I could go back. Okay, and um, with the one star, it says, I have, I have every Lush perfume apart from a few of the, full, the foreign fragrances and was a huge fan of B Never Two. Never too busy to be beautiful. I know it's the company's product, blah, blah, blah. I have tried to avoid mentioning the watering down, watering down of the perfumes recently, but I recently bought almost $300 worth of fragrances. Why, if you water these down, why charge the same amount? Lush, Lush was, a, was beautiful and had an amazing stay, staying power, but now it's a shadow of its former self. So the... Um, this one must be a recomposition of the one that came out in 2010. So what they're making now may be watered down. I don't know how much you can water this bad boy down because it's strong. And I hope it smells very close to the original or whatever this person's saying. But it smells um, this strong. And it's got some type of almost cleaning smell alcohol smell i don't know i could just be way off but i probably will spray it like here and just kind of see how it goes on about the day during the day and see what people say about it or what my family says about it since you know we are social distancing all right um so guys if you um i'm gonna smell my arms now this smells this old lady this majorly smell smells good buy it for your grandma and this bright crystal smells good so hopefully someone will get that for me um all right like i said i like this um i probably will not buy um at the moment i will not buy a bigger bottle just because i have to see how it um how it works with my body composition okay guys if you like my um, video please like it please comment please subscribe and um, I'll see you I'll see you next Tuesday because I have another fragrance review that's coming up it's going to be um, a, um, I'll do Britney Spears I'll do her fragrance um, next week Okay, bye and have a great night and God bless.